Hey everyone, welcome to my cancer journey. I'm Andy and today we're going to be talking about coming to the end of my six months of chemotherapy for the brain tumours. So let's get straight into it because I want to try and shorten these down a bit and uh, yeah that's what I'm working on at the moment is keeping them short. So let's go. So I started to come to the, to, towards the end of my uh, six month course of chemotherapy and um, I just suddenly started getting these emotions that came up of like fear, um, excitement as well that I, I could be getting back to life, uh, the, the fear of, of not getting the news that I want. Um, it, it, it was just it was just like a, another whirlwind and I didn't know what to think. I was very negative at the time, but like, it, 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 yeah, the the fear was just overwhelming. And uh, but I, in my head, I was telling myself, "I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. It's gonna have worked." I had blood tests done, and um, yeah, let's get into what the doctors said, shall we? Unfortunately, the doctors came and told me that the blood tests had come back and my cancer markers were still rising, so the chemotherapy hadn't worked, so the six months of, like, being on death's door and having all these horrible drugs pumped into me and everything like that hadn't worked, hadn't made any difference. It just kept the markers down, and then um, I, I I actually got very ill, and I I ended up going into stage four, which is where they I think is where they're just basically keeping you alive. And I touched upon the bone marrow injections and blood um, like blood transfusions, um, blood thinning injections, all of these things that I, I had to carry on throughout, and I, and some of them started in the second lot of chemo which I, I basically got told by the doctors that it hadn't worked chemo the cancer was still there and I said well what can what 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 comes now and they said well we can try another so I was like give me another six months worth of chemo don't try about it give me that chemo I'm gonna do this I don't care what you say I am gonna beat this it's not gonna help me and fear just took took over and my fight or flight I go into fight mode, and I just thought, you know what? No, you're not. You're not taking my life, cancer. You're not having me. I'm staying here, and I'm going to fight you, and I'm going to fight and fight and fight, and I'm going to work with this chemotherapy, and I'm going to crush you. And I talked about this before, picturing all the positive energy in my body, crushing this, this, this this spot in my head where the, where the cancer was, crushing it down, all, all coursing up through my body, up to my brain, and surrounding it and squashing it down. And, and that was my plan. That was my plan. And I was not going to let this... Ki this cancer was not going to beat me. And the chemotherapy, yeah, it was going to work with me. And I was going to work with it. And that's what I did. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. And... Uh, the next video is going to be talking about starting the next six months of chemotherapy because that's what they decided to do. I think because I showed so much drive and energy all of a sudden to, to, to keep fighting, they decided to give me it. Even though like a couple of days before I was going up in a wall and I couldn't do anything, suddenly this, this I don't know where it came from. And do you know what it was like? I had a conversation with a spiritual friend. That he's very spiritual, and I believe I started a spiritual journey on that day when I had that conversation with him. My journey was getting on a spiritual level, and it's it's grown. That that spiritual level's grown. I I I started going to church. I, I believe I found found a found God and. Um, I believe that God has a purpose for me and that's making these videos to try and help you to be able to get through what you're going through and show you that if I can get through all of this, 
than you can. And maybe me sharing this, you'll be able to take things from my journey and put them into, into play in your journey and take some strength from it and take some wisdom and knowledge because sometimes hearing the other side of things it gives you an eye-opening, it opens your eyes to what could be, and it makes you strong, it makes you fight, dig deep, it makes you find this, this extra bit of you that you didn't realise you have, and we've all got it. We are all a lot stronger than we think. In here, we are. And it's believing in, believing in ourselves, and that's, that's it, you know what I mean? We've got to believe in each other, and... Uh, I'm going to leave it there because I can ramble on, as you all know. But, yeah, next video, I'm not sure when it's coming. It'll be this week some point, hopefully. And it's going to be about starting my chemotherapy. I'm going to try and keep the videos a bit shorter from now on. And just, bang, bang, get in there. Because I'm getting towards the end of this journey. And then you get to see me. And I'm excited because I'm going to go out and it's going to be part of my sort of rehabilitation getting out and going and showing you what I do and taking you on my journey of, of, of living life and showing you why you why you have to really dig deep and fight because it, life is so precious. It is so precious. And when you're ill, you sometimes just think, I can't do this. You can, you can. And if you're watching this and you feel like that, message me, message me and there's lots of people, like there's lots of forums on Facebook that you can go on and you can talk to. Oh, sorry, I got a bit passionate then. Yeah, you can go on and talk to, and it will change your life. You'll have a support network there, people that understand what you're going through, which will change everything. So, all right, peace out. Lots of love. Stay strong. Keep fighting in here. Yeah, stay strong in here, and. Hit the thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if not, and yeah, if you could like and subscribe on the YouTube page, because I need to grow that, I need to grow my YouTube page so that it gets out to more people. It's slowly getting there, but you know what I mean, I need it to boost up. So if you haven't got a Facebook, a YouTube page, it's really easy to set one up and you can follow everyone that you like. I've got all sorts of people that inspire me and help me to keep motivated very important for me so have a look at that try it check it out add all your favorite youtubers onto it you can make playlists everything and it's so easy if you've got an email address all right and uh i'm gonna leave it there and have an awesome day the sun is shining and I i'm up in my new office i've moved upstairs to my new office do you want to see look there you go, new office, yeah, upstairs, boom, it's a bit sunny, I'm hoping that the sunlight isn't ruining my uh, picture on my video, anyway, lots of love, stay strong, and tune in for the next one, remember, if you add, if you subscribe, and put the bell notification to all, you'll get updated every more, so you don't even need to look out for posts on it, you'll just, bing, there you go, you can watch it. All right, God bless, and like I said before, get out and have a lovely day in the sun. All right, peace.